Hey guys, it's ESFan001 here. This is part 11 of Let's Play Minecraft PS4. Last time we started exploring this here cave, and I had forgotten to save between videos, so I did it right then. So we started exploring this cave, and we have found a lot of iron, and even our first stash of gold, and that sounded like something just shot at me. I guess not. So we even found gold, so it's definitely been a positive experience. And we also found lapis for the first time. And we got some uh, redstone, but we've seen that before, so that's nothing new. However, oh, and we even found obsidian. Yeah, I keep forgetting things. However, the one thing we are missing, diamonds. We have not found any diamonds yet, and that is really bad because we definitely need diamonds. So hopefully we can find some in this video, or we may have to wait until we go to yet another cave. I've not been having good luck with diamonds so far. But they are very rare, which is why they're worth so much and why they can do so much. Yes, diamonds are very rare, and then the only material that is rarer than them that I know of are emeralds. But emeralds are only used for trading, unless they also modify that, which they very well may have. But as far as I know, emeralds are only used still for trading with villagers. And they like to scam you a lot, so don't that's not the most useful thing ever. But it's it's kind of nice because if you can find a village somewhere in the game that was pre-generated, they're very, very helpful because they already have, like, infrastructure in there. Ah, creeper! Creeper, creeper! Oh, wow, he didn't even hurt me. Okay. But the nice thing about villages is that they often already have some infrastructure built, which can make living there or just moving there very, very worth your time, actually. Reason being that they will already have crops growing, usually, uh, different types of crops for that matter. Come on. Seriously, another slime ball? But they'll have crops growing, they'll have houses, they might have a small library, they'll usually have, like, crafting tables, maybe a bed... Supply chests, a well, which really isn't necessary, but it's just kind of a cool little feature. And all sorts of stuff like that. And generally, a good strategy is you can go to a village and basically just build a structure around it. Build some kind of wall or fence around the entire village, and enemies can't get in that way. And one thing you can do is basically just go in and build a massive... Not just a wall, but also a dome, like make a, a glass roof over it, which can be pretty cool to have that. Because, I mean, it does take a lot of materials and isn't particularly useful for anything, but it is really cool to have. I see a hatch down there. We're going to be very careful here. Uh, oh, man, I thought, for, uh, I thought for a second that was diamonds. It kind of shined bright like a diamond. Let's mine that. Uh, at least it's gold. Gold's still helpful. Like I said, we need some gold. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I did just save like three minutes ago, so this wouldn't be the most costly thing ever because I could always just reset that. Restart the video. Uh, let's see. Let's get all this iron. If I somehow got through the whole playthrough without dying from lava, I'd be very surprised. And very happy with myself if I manage to do that. Let's see what we got for food. We got lots of steaks. And let's have some melon. Oh, no, I'm not going to eat wood. I thought I had some bread. I guess I don't have any bread. Uh, let's eat a couple slices of melon. Hello, zombie. You want to get fried? Fried zombie steak. And that was anticlimactic. Uh, let's just throw that away. We also don't need this uh, diorite. Okay, nothing else down here aside from looks like a little bit of iron. Though you can often find diamonds around lava areas, so we are going to explore this fairly well. This whole little tiny, like, 20 square block area. And, yeah, that's it. Okay, there was nothing. Uh, we're going to mine those, take that, and I guess, I don't know what else I can find here. 
might just have to dig on up and head back to the surface because I don't... Well, no, there there were other tunnel areas I could probably go down. Let's just keep looking around for a while. Won't stay here forever, though. Definitely want to explore some new areas. All right. Uh, what do we have up here? Anything up top? Uh, nope, nothing. What about in here? Just a lot of coal. Oh, man, I almost fell through that. I was... Oh, wow, I did fall through it. But there was nothing down here anyway, so... Let's just build this back up. What we have down here? Anything? Nope. All right, you know what? Let's mine a little bit of coal while we're here. Let's get a few pieces of coal. It would just be nice to have a few extra pieces just in case we end up needing them. I doubt we will for the moment, but I mean, we are going to have a lot of stuff to smelt when we get back to base, so yeah. Could be a while. Could take a decent amount of coal, because one piece of coal smelt eight items. I mean, a lava would be a lava bucket would be much more efficient. But I don't really feel like doing that. Because I just usually prefer coal, because it's easier. And because you can use it for torches. So, pretty much a win-win there. Uh, let's see. Let's head over this way. And there's some gold right there. Good. And I see... No, that's not iron. Dang it. And we got a creeper. No, go away. I don't like you. Go away. Don't you explode on me. Got him. Okay, let's get this gold right here. Man, we have found actually a lot of gold down here. A lot more than I was expecting. I'm actually very pleased with that. We might have enough gold for a while when it comes to the rail lines and everything. Because that's really about the only thing you'll see me use it for is rail lines. Because, like I said, you can't really use it for tools or armor because they're so weak. And, I mean, you can also use it for, like, golden apples and stuff. But, I mean, I don't really plan on making any of those until we are preparing for the final battle or anything. And I see all the iron around here, but we are going to just swim up the river a little bit. See if I can cut off the water supply. Probably going to have to mine it to uh, cut some more trees down when we get back up to base. But like I said, a lot of that stuff probably isn't going to get shown in future videos just because it's kind of boring and tedious and you kind of probably already know what's going on with it because I've done it a few times now. Okay, let's shut the water off and... Well, actually, first let's look in here. Anything? Uh, yeah, a whole other cave area. Anything, though? Any actual, like, valuable materials? Uh, nope, nothing. Oh, well. Uh, so let's drop down here. Let's mine us some iron, because there is even more iron here, which is great. I mean, these caves are great for iron, though. They always have so much stuff in them. Every piece of iron I can get. I'm going to need it all eventually, because iron is going to be useful throughout the game for so many things. And eventually, i got to really work on building like a whole fence area around my entire base at some point. Not just this house that's made it straight out of cobblestone. Maybe I'll try to make that into brick at some point. And I saw you, skeleton. Maybe I'll try to make brick eventually. Maybe not. I don't know. Depends sort of on the materials I have and how long I'm willing to let this Let's Play run. Okay, let's get that uh, iron down. Looks... No. Bad skeleton. No. That is not a good skeleton. Bad skeleton. Go away. Oh, there's two of them. Really? I need to eat. Let's eat real quick. I don't want to die in the middle of this fight. With all this gear. And we're going to grab that iron. We got more iron right here. We're going to take every piece of that. Try not to ever leave any iron behind. At least not early on in the game. Maybe later when we're really just looking for specific items possibly. Even though my OCD will probably compel me to go after the iron anyway. Although, it really doesn't bother me with the redstone, surprisingly. Okay, we've been in this area before, and I see that iron over there, but I'm probably not going to go for that. Oh, man, this is complex. A lot of tunnels and stuff in this cave. Might need to put down a mobile crafting table soon, just so that I can build more pickaxes. At least we're getting lots of iron, and I see more up on the ceiling over there. I should be able to get to that, actually. Yeah, there might be more up there, but no. Go away. Oh, I hit it with the hose. Yeah, that's really going to do damage, isn't it? 
Well, then again, uh, actually, no, I was going to say something, but uh, it would spoil part of Minecraft story mode for anyone who actually cares about the story in that game, which, in all honesty, that's probably, like, my seventh favorite Telltale game of all time. So, yeah, seventh place. Could be worse. Could be eighth. Could be ninth. Could be tenth. You get what I mean. I mean, I like the majority of the Telltale games better than it's. Ah, uh, we got water... It's like Minecraft story mode, though, I think is the least, I guess, well-reviewed of the whole series that I know of. It might not be the worst, but it's probably close to it, at least for an episodic. Some of the other... Oh, crap. Zombie orgy. Uh, die, die, die. Good thing I have this iron sword. If that was any other type of non-diamond sword... Oh, look at that! Look at that! Diamond! Oh, that is great. We've got diamonds. Uh, we're just going to look around first and make sure there is nothing. Yep, it's a good thing I looked. Zombie, die. You are not getting in the way of my diamond collection. Let's eat a few items. Don't want any nasty surprises along the way. And good, I have just enough inventory space for some diamonds. We are going to fill up all this lava that I can, just because we don't want to take any risks. Uh, yep, that's good. If there's a decent... Where did that Enderman go? I just heard an Enderman. Uh, where did he go? Okay, he appears to have left, and I'm going to mine that hallway in just a second, but I want to get the diamond first. Wow, one whole diamond. No, well, still better than nothing, I suppose. But we really, I mean, we need three to be able to do anything with the diamonds, which is kind of aggravating that we only got one. We need three to make the pickaxe. And we're going to need, like, you know, 24 or something to make all the body armor. Which I may not end up making a full suit of diamond armor. It's not completely necessary, I don't believe. At least I hope it's not. It's been a really, really long time since I fought the Ender Dragon. I haven't fought it in like two years. I'm not even joking on that. I haven't fought it since I uh, played Minecraft on the PS3 commonly with a few friends like Cameron and a couple other people. Back when we used to play it, some on the PS3. I haven't played it in a really long time. Oh, there's obsidian down here. Aw, oh, come on, game. You couldn't just give me two more stupid diamonds? I mean, really? Would that have been that difficult? Well, at least the good thing is this water here is going to keep us from burning to death. And that's always a positive, so just got to look at the bright side. Uh, do I have another? Yes, I do. And nothing else in here. Got redstone. I will look down there in just a second. Hmm. This is aggravating. We really need diamonds. Come on, game. Why can't you just give me some diamonds? This would all be over if you just give me some diamonds. Well, I mean, it wouldn't all be over because there's still a lot left to do in this Let's Play, but I would like some diamonds. I'm pretty sure everyone on the planet likes diamonds because they're worth something. Ooh, we got lava down here. There's a good chance we'll find something down here. But like the supposedly you're supposed to find diamonds like 5 to 15 layers above the bedrock, which I can't remember if we've hit the bedrock yet or not, but the bedrock is like the it's like an unbreakable rock that you find at the very bottom of any area, of any map. Uh, what do we have over here? We have a lava waterfall, and no way of getting past it, so... Hmm. I want to make sure I do this safely. Okay, that's good enough. I'm going to knock you into the lava, zombie. Goodbye. And I, of course, would put the wrong thing. 
Oh crap. Uh no. No. I am not. No. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Creeper, please blow it up. That thing did like nothing to that witch. Keep something else be between me and it. Oh, this is so bad. This is not good at all. Oh no, it hit me. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. Sorry, I couldn't talk there. I was very scared. What that potion will basically do is, as you can see, it will drain you to literally half a heart. It will drop your health as low as your health can go. And basically getting hit by one other thing is going to kill you. So that's why I really, really hate witches. And this is so annoying because it's camping right out there, so I can't get out easily. Plus there's two other enemies out there. Plus it might still be able to hit me through that hatch up there. Or not even hatch, just little open area. Hello, zombie. I can kill you, though. That's not a problem. Okay, witch. Round two. Witches do sometimes drop decent loot, at least. Okay, dropped a spider eye, which isn't really that good, but... They do tend to drop reasonably good loot when you kill them. Nothing super special, but they might drop, like, bottles, and they might drop, uh, potion materials. Sometimes they'll drop better stuff than that, even, so... They, if you can kill one without really going too far out of your way and basically and almost dying from it, you'll probably find it to be worth your while. Man, already running on 16 minutes. We've been in this cave for two straight videos now. Pretty crazy, actually. Two whole videos in this cave, really. Oh, look at that! I see some diamonds! We're going to get that diamond today. That better be two more diamonds, because if it is, I will be very, very happy. And that might be my cue to get the heck out of this place, because this place has been very scary. Witches and creepers coming out of nowhere and all that stuff. So we're going to mine that diamond and then close off the video. Oh, wait, I uh, probably need to close this water off. Come on, water. Go ahead and drain. Thank you. And it looks like there's obsidian down here, which is excellent. Yes! More than... Oh, crap. Uh, I need to be careful here. I need to make sure there's no lava underneath. Got it. Perfect. Got just enough. Okay, guys. So, what I'm going to do now is... Actually, no, I'll show it to you guys in the next video, but... There's definitely stuff to do here. Is there lava down here? Nope. Okay, that's surprising. We're going to be dealing with the subsidian next video. So, uh, I am going to build myself a little safe house right here. Where nothing can touch me for a few seconds. And I will see you guys next time.